Back up to a new video in my home automation series and I've received a few new products from Sonoff and I thought I'm just going to test them and then create quick videos. I'm saying quick videos because they are not exactly like, you know, brand new products, uh, like, uh, you know, not something that we haven't seen in a different package or an earlier version. So that's why I think it's... Uh, it's okay to just uh, quickly go through them. And I haven't really opened these. So, I mean, uh, in all my previous reviews, I usually just, uh, you know, play around with them and I create a video. But now this time I'm just going to go through this and I'm going to break it up into three different videos for each of the three products. And um, well, just to quickly summarize, but because this is going to be the first one. And let me start with the first product on the left. So as you can see, it is a Zigbee door and window sensor and it is orange. Well, I already said Zigbee, but it's orange. It is Zigbee. And the name or the um, part number, what is it? Is it SNZB04P. So previously the, the, uh, the door, uh, window and the door sensor was uh, 04. So this is a newer version, but for me, it looks pretty much the same as the old one. So but we'll see that one in, a, in another video. So that's going to be one. And the second one is going to be this wall plug. And I actually have to go back because I don't remember if it's a brand new product. The, uh, the packaging looks uh, different uh, because uh, I think the, the, the stuff that they had in the past had a different packaging. And I'm also scrolling on my website just to see what... Um, yeah, so the S60 was something similar, and uh, this is the X60TFP. So again, a newer version uh, by the looks of it. So we are going to see that next. And then the last one is a Zigbee motion sensor. And it is also a bit different because uh, if you see, it's 03P. So again, the P is, is usually the newer sensors but uh, it is PIR, but then it looks like the uh, radar sensor that I've reviewed recently. So I would be quite interested how this looks like and compares to the older models. So I think we should open this one first and let's see how it looks like. And just for comparison, I quickly grabbed the older models. So this is the 03, that's the old PIR sensor, the usual uh, black, sorry, a uh, square uh, design, if I can see. Yeah, that's a zero three. And this is the radar sensor. So it looks like that they use the packaging from the radar sensor and then put the PIR sensor into it. Well, by the looks of this one. So let's open this up. Actually, I did open this up because I was quite curious how it looks. So if I get everything out of the box, well, that's pretty much it. The rest of it is just the box. Uh, do we see anything here? Um, well, this is extremely fine print, but... Um, no, I'm not really seeing anything unusual here. And yeah, it is a motion sensor. It says it's a motion sensor and that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's see the package. So we get some mounting screws, a double-sided tape, and then we get this unit, which as I said, it looks pretty much just like the, uh, the radar sensor. I think it is slightly different. Um, different dimensions so it's definitely the same shape but then it looks this guy looks a little bit more round and it's definitely heavier because it has the batteries as well and of course the difference that you see there is a button but this one has a usb this does not so this is battery powered but then it has the same magnetic base so that's quite handy and uh, that's it you get a double-sided tape if you want to mount it or you get some screws because you can, I think you can pop this part. Uh, I'm not going to force it, oh no, no, yeah. And then you can screw it like that and then you can pop it back. You, oh, okay, this has to go a certain way. Okay, that's good. And then you can put this one like that. Oh cool, and we have a QR code on the side and the big PIR sensor here and a button. And I, they told me that this button feels a little bit, um, yeah, I think it's like when you push it, sometimes you can't feel that you pushed it enough and they are going to change something on that. Uh, so that, so once they release this model, which I, uh, by the way, it's going to be the 20th of December, then uh, there is going to be some minor hardware revision to the, um, to this button. 
and uh, the dome is smaller than the previous PIR sensor and I don't think that we will be see a lot of uh, technical details but uh, okay I managed to open the Chinese side so let's flip it over and well it's not a documentation it's more like you know FCC compliance and um, and then the user manual it just says you know go to the website where you find the user manual but other than that FCC compliance SAI warning and the rest is no actually there is some stuff here on um, in you know in multiple languages but I think probably one of the new thing is that now we can add devices using the QR code um, and that makes um, you know adding devices more universal um, because you don't have to do that you know different process for Zigbee but different process for Wi-Fi you just scan the QR code and actually I'm thinking what I should do first well sorry I think well, I managed to open this up. This was a little bit tight, but this is how you get to the battery compartment. And uh, I need something to open this, and I don't think I have... No, this is not stiff enough. That's not good. So you need a... Um, you need a coin or something. And actually, I don't have a coin, but let me use a coin cell. I have this 3D printed beer case to hold uh, batteries and I can open this up yeah. there you go Jesus oh look at this <gasps> CR2477 okay this is new it's massive okay so now I need to stock CR 20, uh, 2477s as well. By the way, I think one of my criticism against this older uh, motion sensor was that it, I think this goes through the battery, the coin cell rather quickly. So probably no wonder why they uh, uh, choose to employ such a huge, huge battery. I mean, again, look at it compared to the uh, 2025, fat and big. But anyway, okay, it needs some juice. So um, it gets some juice. So you put this one back and then you twist and lock and this goes back on top and clicks and locks. Okay, and I think I want to, I probably want to put this away because this picks up motion all the time. Okay, and I want to connect to this. so. Let's bring, not this one, the top screen and add device and start pairing. And I think probably I have to hold this. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but I basically I just pushed on this uh, button for a long time. And usually there is a like a faint LED behind it. I didn't see anything, but maybe because of the um, shop lights, which are above me. But as you can see, it says that a new motion sensor is found. So I'm just going to click on finish and I have a new motion sensor. Ooh, I should have renamed it because now I have two motion sensors and I'm guessing it must be this one because the other, way, the other one is put away. Okay, so it has, well, it says that motion is detected and uh, yeah, oh, by the way, this, this is how the QR code looks like. And let me just bring out my phone. So I'm launching my e-reading application. I just have to log in again. And oh yeah, ZNSP03P. So this is the motion sensor. And it says it's motion detected. And if I go to the record, then it shows motion detected. By the way, if I go back to the previous motion sensor, which is not the P like the old one, um, as you can see, it it's pretty much the same. I mean, it has the same user interface and it has the same functionality. And uh, I didn't expect this to be any different. I mean, obviously they use the new molding, they use the QR code for easier uh, pairing, but I think Zigbee is easy to pair anyway. And, um, um, and then, well, bigger batteries, so most probably better battery life. And I would say that's it.
but uh, this is a PIR sensor, so there is not an awful lot that you can do with a PIR sensor. So if I go into the settings, yeah, you can assign to a room, you can enable push notification, you have this detection duration, and... Okay, I think, let me just go back and see if this one was available before. Yeah, it wasn't, so this is new. And that's the thing which people usually complain about is, and you can read the text here, it can be triggered again after no motion was detected in the duration, I guess in this duration. So um, what was mentioned by, um, you know, in the comments when I reviewed the original motion sensor is that, you know, sometimes it, mo it detects motions and then when motion is no longer present, then it takes a long time for it to detect motion again because, well, it goes to sleep to conserve battery. So now you can change that. And I think the default is 60. So if you would be using this in a location where you tend to go in and out quite quite a lot, then these motion sensors are not really good because let's say when you second time you go in, you know, shortly after you have gone in for the first time, then it's just not going to detect you because it's sleeping. And this is why these, uh, these sensors are better because they are sort of like mains or, you know, USB powered. So they are on all the time, they are not sleeping. But now, if um, you just want to decrease that time, um, then you can do it here. I mean, I would probably be a little bit conservative with this one because uh, this is what actually saves the battery life. So, okay, if you feel that 60 seconds is too much, you can lower it, maybe try if you can just uh, live with, you know, 30 seconds or 40 seconds, but if you, if you bring it down all the way to like, I don't know, like 10 or whatever, I would assume that it would, you know, go through this battery much, much quicker. And uh, there is no product page and I haven't really scrolled through the documentation. I don't know if there is an expected battery life on this guy. I don't think it was advertised much in the earlier model as well. I probably have to go through this uh, a lot, but I'm not seeing any numbers that will stick out from this documentation. So I don't think that there is anything on the battery life. And I'm guessing it's a, such a new product that they might not have an awful lot of experience either. So anyway, that accent duration is new. It's good, yeah. I mean, if this was the only reason that would hold you back from buying a PIR motion sensor, well, that it shouldn't be the reason anymore. And the manufacturer is Sonoff as uh, 03 Pre, and yeah, yeah. So it is definitely this device. By the way, let me rename this um, name. Oh, this one says 03P. Oh yeah, it says 03P now here as well. So I think these settings just synced. So you can see it also says SNZB03P. Um, so yeah, it's great. I mean, you know, it works just fine. It's uh, this new functionality is definitely good. Um, and if I, let me just quickly set up some scenes. So trigger, smart device, and this one motion detected okay no motion detected motion detected motion detected an ambient light is bright motion detected an ambient light is dim so it has the same features as the radar sensor so there is a hidden light sensor built into the probably behind this dome so it well it's not going to give you any illumination reading but there are some thresholds where it discovers the the ambient light to be bright or dim so you can create a trigger based on um, you know not only when motion is detected but in combination with you know bright and dim um, surroundings so again it just makes setting up the scenes much easier because if you want this motion sensor to only turn on the lights when um, it's dark, then you can use the this one down here. And if you want it to be used all the time, then you can just use the, sorry, the motion detected. So you would create a scene where say, okay, motion, when motion is detected in a dim environment and in the ad, you can add, you know, smart device and I don't know, whatever device you turn on, which is your light. And then you would create a second scene when no motion is detected. So that's going to be the if condition and then you turn off the light. So as simple as that, but uh, I think with this, uh, sorry, yeah. So I think with this uh, detection duration and 
yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I was worried that the battery has already gone, uh, lost one bar, but okay, that was the old sensor. So as I was saying, with the uh, detection duration and also with the light sensor, we are definitely getting more. And I think this detection duration is going to solve issues for uh, many of you, well, based on the comments that I have received. So it is a nice product. It's uh, I like this uh, form factor. I think this uh, magnetic base, which pretty much allows this unit to be mounted or in, in pretty much any angle makes it really easy to to mount this so now the only thing is just keep in mind that you have to stock up cr 2477s because uh, this unit uses that and i maybe uh, the same battery is going to be used in some of the other sensors so it's great i i already like it I think it's going to be a great product, so let's see when it comes out on the 20th of December. Once that happens, I should be able to update the video description and give you some links uh, to purchase it. So I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you next video.